And as far as the political system, you know, what is a political system? It's really a failure of the economic system. Laws are patches, they're not solutions. They're because something's wrong, they have to make a law. If the system worked, there would be no need for a law. And what, is, what do the majority of governments actually do? They debate about their own protection, they debate about their employment, again it's economic, they believe in debate about their legal structures, and they consider their relevance of war. Uh, these are the dominant elements of what social organization consists of. And at the end of the day, it always comes back to the economy and how people are gaining what they need and how they're interacting and getting the social support that any system should provide. So technology is not only the intellectual awareness that we've just spoken of at length, it's also the use of advanced systems of, of data um, computation, which I mentioned briefly earlier. This is more of an advanced topic, but what I mean by this is that in the future, government will be a system of interaction of all people, contributing to invention for goods and services that everyone can utilize. No longer will there be right and left. These, these are false notions, so historically archaic and irrelevant. And it's, it's sad to see how many people will buy into the left and the right and the liberals and the conservatives and the republicans and the democrats. The very fact that it's promoted the way it is shows how primitive we really are still at this stage. Because the focus itself should be on, okay, how do we technically organize our society to feed and care, provide the needs, and meet the wants of the human population, a region, or the entire world? Think about it. If everyone here had their needs met, if you were able to live in a very well, live very well, uh, would you care about your political leaders? Would it really matter to you? No. People get upset with their political establishment when something is wrong in their life. So it's a technical phenomenon. Politics will not exist in the future. And the, the system of management of government will be completely technical uh, with a creative, fast creative input coming from everyone, connected through the internet or whatever the media may be, relaying information through a, an advanced Wikipedia-style uh, creation. And this will be balanced against artificial intelligence. Again, it's a long conversation. But if you follow the work of Ray Kurzweil at the Singularity Institute, if you're familiar, uh, artificial intelligence is about to explode, and we should be welcoming this tremendously. The problem with the human being is that we have emotions, and we get blocked, and we get carried away, and we have egos. We all have it. None of us are are immune to emotional uh, discrepancies. And that's where the beauty of decision making by technological means is so important. Because it will help us to see the truth more clearly, and will limit our ability to destroy ourselves in the end.